Hey quilties, Karen Marchetti here. Um, today I'm going to be using um, my CC contour ruler. Um, I have three different CC rulers, uh, the contour, the angle, and the arc. But I want to use the contour. I just want to share with you this weird shape right here, which when stitched will look like that. Um, so all the rulers have this the shape, how it looks when it's stitched on it, so you know what each shape does. And um, they're available on my website if you wanted to check it out. But anyway, I, want, I just wanted to share with you what this shape does. So I have marked a two inch grid. That's what the two is. That means two inch. They also come in four inch. So I'm gonna get started on this. I've just stitched around the edge of my grid and now I'm going to use the ruler and stitch these out for you. So I just wanna line up the, the edge of the ruler with the line because you can see can you see up here? There you go. If I just line it up with the edge, that's also lined up on the needle. So I will line that up on the edge. And you just follow the edge of that ruler. So you get to the next section. Turn the ruler. And the thing about these rulers is you don't ever want to flip it, okay? Because that'll give you a mirror image. You want to always just stitch it and then turn it, okay? Get my hand out of the way. And now we'll turn it on the side and we'll come back and finish that row off. So you see it makes this cool little kind of like double curve. So I will keep doing this and I'm sorry if my hand's in your way. I'll try to keep it out of the way for you.
and then we come back up that last side. It gives you a perfect continuous curve in whatever shape you're using. Everything matches perfectly. All the curves are the same. So on this one, I'm going to use the CC Angle 2, and I'm going to use this one, which makes this shape right here. Um, and I just want to share, you can use, and like you get, um, some people are really stuck on you have to go this path or this path, and you're going to see, um, I'm starting at the top right. You can use whatever path you want. You want to do them vertical, you can do them vertical. Oh, I wanted to do this way, and I forgot, which is okay, because I'll show you when we come back. You can catch that one on the way back. Again, we don't ever want to flip it. We just want to rotate it. And then we'll come back up. Making sure to get that one that we missed. And if you needed to, you can always mark center. There is a center line on here. Um, it's nine times out of ten, it's always perfect, but there's only that chance that you can twist it. So if you needed to mark that center line, you could. So that's just another sample of how you can use the CC rulers. Hope you enjoyed it.